In the Gospel this weekend, Jesus tells the disciples what is going to happen to him. He said that the Son of Man will be handed over, he will be killed, and on the third day, the Son of Man will be raised. The disciples, however, didn't understand what he was talking about, nor did they ask him any questions. And it's evident that they didn't understand because as they were walking along, they were still arguing with one another about who would be the greatest. They were hoping for an earthly kingdom. So when they stopped, at one point, Jesus asked them what they were talking about, and they were ashamed to say, but Jesus responds, those who wish to be first shall be the last and become the servant of all. In fact, in our SALT community, our founder, Father Jim Flanagan, set it up so that the leaders of our community are actually called servants. So we have our general priest servant, our general sister servant, and even locally, our house superior is called the house servant. And I remember one time, Sister Trinity, who had several positions of authority in our community, told me that the superior should always even be willing to do the chores in the house like everyone else. And so it was this attitude of servanthood that was impressed upon the disciples then and in our community and in our life. And Jesus continues this teaching moment by putting a small child in front of them and says, whoever receives this little child in my name receives me. So this child represents all the children of the world, but also those who are needy, the infirm, perhaps the elderly or the underserved. And so Jesus shows them that these are the people we're called to serve. So I ask you, brothers and sisters, has God given you some kind of authority in your own life? Are you a parent or a grandparent? Are you a teacher or an employer who has employees that you're responsible for? Or even in other situations such as the coach of a sports team? What kind of servant leader are you? How do you wield your authority? Is it like Christ who came to serve and not to be served? You might just pause for a moment this week and examine the way in which you give yourself and serve those that you're responsible for. And I also ask you this week to pray for our church leaders. For example, our Pope is called the servant of the servants of God. To pray for our cardinals and our bishops that they be holy pastors and servants of the Lord Jesus. God bless you.